Krishna, my name is Srivas Das, Zona Supervisor for West Africa. I'm here to share with you how to read Srila Prabhupada's books. Srila Prabhupada's books are the scriptures for the next 10,000 years. And therefore, all members of the Hare Krishna movement must study these books very scrutinizingly in order to develop firm faith in Guru and Shastra. We need to study Shri Prabhupada's books very scrutinizingly. By studying Shri Prabhupada's books, we can increase our desire to serve Krishna. By studying Shri Prabhupada's books, we can become more focused in our practice of Krishna consciousness. In this regard, there are three types of study or reading Shri Prabhupada's books. First, there is an individual reading or individual study. This means an individual making his plan according to his capability to reach the Prabhupada's books on a regular basis. Two, there is group study where more than two, two devotees come together to reach the Prabhupada's books or study Shri Prabhupada's books on a daily basis and discuss their readings, digest the reading. Three is the systematic study or systematic reading. This is more or less a classroom setting. It requires a classroom setting where students have to listen to a teacher and they are graded and assessed. Of course, whether it is an individual study, whether it is a group study, or whether it is a systematic study, there are steps by which one can nicely study Shri Prabhupada's books. This is the recommended, these are the recommended steps. One is to decide on what book one should begin with. It could be the science of self-realization. It could be Bhagavad Gita as it is. It could be Srimad Bhagavatam. It could be teachings of Lord Chaitanya, teachings of Queen Kunti, teachings of Kapila Dev. Any book that appeals to you, you can begin with that book. Second point is to decide on how long one should read, whether 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, or whatever amount of time you have, that has been decided. The third step is to decide on the place and time suitable for reading, for studying. Because in order to do effective reading, one has to avoid all kinds of distractions. So therefore, a suitable place and time where there is less distractions or no distractions, distractions at all will facilitate, would help. Four, one should make oneself comfortable before starting to read. Because if you are not comfortable, if you are disturbed, you may not be able to continue reading for a long time. So therefore, it is recommended that one should sit in a very comfortable position 
of course, not so comfortable that one falls asleep. The fifth step is one should cultivate the proper attitude. An attitude of surrender. Because if one has a proper attitude, then the results are magnified. The results are great. Because when a service is done in a mood of surrender, it is more relishable to the Guru, to Krishna, than when the service is done out of pride. So therefore, the right attitude, the right mood must be cultivated in our reading. Before reading, the sixth item is to offer prayers to one's Guru, to the previous Acharyas, to Goranitai, to Radha Krishna, before reading, because only by their mercy that we are, we have gained the association of devotees, is by their mercy that we have come in touch with this knowledge. Therefore, before we read, we should offer them prayers, seeking their blessings and guidance in our attempt to read transcendental literature. Seventh point is one can read aloud or one can read silently. The choice is yours. Which in way is most practical and most suitable? One can adopt that for reading Shri Prabhupada's books. In the eighth step, one should read until a phrase, a word, a phrase, or a sentence attracts one's attention, struck one's mind. At that point, one should stop and digest that word, digest that statement, or phrase, or sentence deeply, understand it, absorb it before moving on. In the ninth step, when one is finished with his reading, it's allotted amount of reading, one should again offer prayers to the Guru, to the Acharyas, to Gauritai, to Radha Krishna for giving him or her the opportunity to study these transcendental literatures. The tenth step is to assimilate whatever we have read. Assimilation means to meditate and allow the message to sink deep into our hearts, sink deep into our consciousness, apply what we have read, exemplify what we have read. And of course, we can also share with others. So in this way, we are benefiting from reading. We are purifying ourselves for reading. And we're also sharing the message with others. And of course, the final step is that one should practice doing this on a daily basis. As Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Abhyasana Tukkantaya Varigyana Chagrihate that by constant practice, and detachment, one can deal with the mind, one can be on the path of progress in controlling the mind. Similarly, a we can read regularly, we practice reading Shana Prabhupada's books on a regular basis, then we can also make progress, right? constant progress on the path of self-realization, on the path back to Godhead. So therefore, following these outline steps will enhance our reading. It will enhance our understanding. It will enhance our application of this knowledge this secret knowledge that is divine grace. 
Shlaisi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada has given us. So, all devotees, all members of the Hare Krishna movement must make an effort to study these books, to read these books on a daily basis for our own progress, for our own advancement, for our own enlightenment. And in this way, together, we can make progress towards the spiritual world. That is the proper desire. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.